Hi guys and welcome back to the United Family. So there's been some um, speculation around um, Harry Kane. One side says that Harry Kane will stay at Spurs for another season. Um, and the other news is by Fabrizio Romano just tweeting right now um, saying that, um, what's his name, um, Harry Kane will be, um, I mean, I'm sorry, Man City have been 150 million for Harry Kane. So we don't know which news to actually believe. Um, so here is my view on what, what might happen because um, Daniel Levy, that is the chairman, I think he is the chairman of Tottenham, has confirmed that um, Harry Kane will be staying uh, with um, uh, Spurs for another season after uh, after Spurs won against Man City 1-0 in their first Premier League game of this season as well. And then Nuno, their manager, has just confirmed that he's um, training with the team, he's not 100% fit is not recovered from the Euro 2020 and that he's not going to be, uh, he didn't play this match, well uh, hopefully he'll play the next match that they're going to play, I don't know who they're going to play against uh, at game week 2 Premier League but he's going to play in that match is what Nuno has said and one part um, that City are bidding 150 million for uh, Harry Kane which seems unrealistic after spending 100 million from Jack Grealish, you're not going to spend another 150 million for um, Kane as well, so you're going to be spending 250 million in a transfer window, and you're going to be having 250 million. No, I'm sorry, 250,000 pounds as a British. Um, what are his wages that much? And then you're going to have a Harry Kane in negotiations. In negotiations with City, he's going to ask um, probably more than 250,000 pounds. So City won't take that chance. Either way, even if Kane goes to um, Spurs, or if he say, stays at Spurs, um, Daniel Levy says that he's going to stay here for another season. Next season, he's, he might go to um, Man City. So, um, either way, if Kane stays at Spurs, he's going to end up scoring another 20 goals this season. So, his value will not decrease. Since his value doesn't decrease, um, City will still have to end up spending 150 million, if not this season, the next season. What I think um, City and Kane are trying to do is last season there was a big um, Jalen Sancho transfer saga. Um, we tried to, we, and they asked for 820 million euros, which is nearly, um, I think, 105 million for Jalen Sancho. This season we signed him for 100, um, I'm sorry, 73 million. So you've got around. Yeah, you've got around 17 million um, saving on uh, spending on Jaden Sancho for buying Jaden Sancho at 100 million last season, and, and for buying Jaden Sancho this season at 73 million. There is a big difference, so that's that's what I think um, City and um, um, Harry Kane are trying to do at the moment. Um, but I, I don't think Jack or Daniel Levy is going to um, lead. Um, let City and Harry Kane get away with that. He's going to get that 150 million. Um, so yes, City have given 150 million, and that Spurs are not still convinced. I don't, I don't, I don't think this transfer, uh, transfer is going to go through this season. So that is my view on what's going to happen. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you can hit that like button, subscribe, share this video to people who know football that you also know. And I'll see you next time.